Hello and welcome to Top 5 Wednesday! Top 5 Wednesday is a Goodreads group that was created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey and is now moderated by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes and I will link the Goodreads group and their channels in the description. And this week's topic is Top 5 uh, Tropes or Trends that you're tired of. So this is a fairly simple video for me to do. I'm just going to run off my top five things that I'm tired of sort of here on booktube or in books and let's get to it. Number five. Number five. Number five. The blonde haired, blue eyed beauties that are super petite and you can fit them in your pocket. You can fit them in my pocket. Yeah, I'm kind of over that. Quite over that. I find myself reading through a book, even after a description is given, as I'm reading, if blonde hair and blue eyes doesn't fit for me, I will make up new characteristics for my characters to fit their attitudes or to fit the things that they're saying that the author has written. And that's just how I do. That's just how I do. Number four, number four. I am so tired of the virgin, especially when they're over the age of 20. I mean, in this day and age, let's get real. Are you really still a virgin at 20? Number three, number three is going to be the step family member hookup don't get me wrong okay I have read a few step family member hookups that were hot and spicy and you kind of understand them one happens to be one step closer by Kaylin Ames it was marvelously done because you want to know what the characters were older when their parents decided to hook up. It wasn't like they lived with their freaking stepbrother or stepsister um, when they were kids, when they were five and six and they played together and they got older together and things like that. No, 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 no. If you give me a stepbrother, stepsister story where they are 16, 17, and then their parents happen to hook up, which makes them now stepbrother and stepsisters, and they happen to be like, oh, I kind of like you. I'm down, I, I'm okay with that. Especially if they, it takes them a while, not with, not if they hook up when they were like 15 or 16, but if it takes, you know, that whole something happens in the family, and then they decide to hook up. I'm okay with that. I, I'm down for that. So, that, that is, that trend needs to be treaded lightly. Treaded very, very lightly. Number two. Number two thing that I am so over is the use or the overuse and need for diversity in a book. Using diversity as a plot line is so overused. So, so overused. Or like the social issues that go along with diversity. <sighs> Prime example, Eleanor and Park. Oh my god, I wanted to throw that book. Like, I was like, can you fit any more diverse things? Trailer Park trash, um, Asian, former military, fat kid. Can, really? Really? Awkward, poor kid that it, it was just like, really, can we fit anything else. Oh, and by the way, they all live in the Midwest. Uh, okay. That's so not believable. And don't get me wrong, I understand the whole concept of being fiction, but if you're trying to portray a sort of realistic situation, just throwing all that diversity into it, just throw it in there. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And then my number one thing 
that I am so over that seems to be trending is happens to be here on booktube in the community is the over hypeness of freaking books I get that the booktube community is overwhelmed with people that read YA high fantasy but the fact that you shame or you don't watch or you don't explore other book tubers that don't necessarily read the same thing as you do it drives me absolutely insane insane I mean there are so many youtubers that I subscribe to that don't read a single thing that I read crazy right crazy 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 but yeah, the whole I'm going to shame you because you haven't read Harry Potter or when you, or when booktubers are like, don't hate me because I haven't read Harry Potter. I haven't read Harry Potter. Have no need to read Harry Potter. That's too much of a time commitment. I will watch those movies, but I'm not reading those books. Or um, when people like want to throw you under the bus because you don't like Rainbow Row. Yeah, totally just used her in one of her books for the whole diversity thing. I give authors like two tries, and then if I'm just not feeling their work, I'm like, no, no, I'm not going to torture myself in doing that any longer because I want to read things that I like. I'll give you a chance, but if your work isn't working for me, not doing it, not doing it. Um, anyone that hasn't read anything from Cassandra Clare, I know you're not reading the right stuff. So, those are my top five trends that I think are being overly done. Love me, hate me. Don't really care. Those are my opinions. Hopefully I don't lose too many subscribers after this rant of a top five Wednesday. I'm sorry that it turned into a rant. Thank you for watching and if you want to discuss, we can discuss in the comments of course or you can check me out at any of my links. Thank you for watching and we will see you guys later.